So it starts off with the main girl, Eden, is getting approached by a boy with a knife and he's going I don't want you to cry anymore, Eden. What the hell does that mean? I don't know, crazy bullshit. But then it's supposed to be like the corn is talking to him, almost like the happening, the plants. Oh my god, just stabs the guy right off the bat. Then goes on a stabbing spree that they have to call the cops. And the cops' response is sort of frustrating. Like, what the hell is this? For active shooters in the country, I guess, they just sort of gas everybody to death like what the hell is that dude they might as well just hook up their car with carbon monoxide inside the place oops we accidentally killed all the children in the town okay guys that's on me all right next time we have an active shooter we actually go inside the place with our guns and shoot the guy with the knife <laughs> And they have a town meeting afterwards, like, all right, man, we got a bad PR thing going on. We killed a lot of children here. Who votes to leave? All right, most of the adults? Okay. Hey, the children want to say something. We should have a vote. Like, ah, uh, no, stop the count, dude. We can't let the children vote. You dumb little bastard. <laughs> so this girl's, like, on the borderline being a teenager. I guess she doesn't count as a children. Now she notices the kids doing weird stuff, like digging, like, a big underground pool. Then, actually, the adults start getting killed off. Like, she knows Eden tied up this guy with a horse and then hung him. They try to save him, but, you know, a little bit too late. Then, somehow, these children overpowered all the adults adults took over the police station and threw the adults in prison and one person actually opposes like i'm gonna go free them smack <laughs> i guess they're super strong if they could hit your face off of the bat then the only actor i recognize the guy from mad max road warriors in this i guess he's a priest and he gets dragged out of his jail cell for being you never send priests like what does that mean you touch these kids well i guess then you should get your eye ripped out the whole town teamed up on him she grounded and pounded him and tore that eye out like it was a black christmas remake or he could be like the eyeless guy in the sequel which i hope they don't make now it's time for the payback We're gonna gas the adults right so they get all gassed everybody passes out but they don't kill them right so they just sort of knocked them out like chloroform enough to throw them inside that pool that they dug how do you move all those passed out adults man i don't know corn magic but they had a big old bulldozer and buried them all alive man i guess gas would have been a better death but uh man i guess they had to dig a pool for something then Eden prays to like the corn god, like corn god, <laughs> please come through and take this sacrifice. Who the hell is this real? Oh my god, it's a real like corn CGI monster thing. This is very cool. Like man, it's been what eleven movies we never saw this monster, and all the kids just watch like, oh my goodness, this thing's like eight feet tall and dragged her away. This corn monster took his time with that thing. Well, I considered him a he. I, I don't know. And the important thing is there's this car in the middle of the cornfield, but oh my goodness, one of the best kills right there. Man, torn in half, and then shook out like some laundry. Then the monster threw her like LeBron and baby powder, but then he, he turned his little corn eyes and saw her, chased her down for a bit, and then she was luckily enough to stab it like in its mouth. Like, oh man, dude, you should have brought a gun with you, shot that thing in the face. It's only corn. The monster got off her, she was able to start that car in the middle of the field, and the whole thing was they said that earlier, it had like a leaky gas tank so she's just driving all throughout the corn pouring that gas all over everywhere eden pops up in the back seat like all right dude you're done with get out of the car Sherlock. let me have this cigarette real quick pops that lighter and what do you know dude she throws that on the floor and burns everything then you have opportunity to say something cool and <sighs> that's it that's like Rob Zombie having Michael Myers say, die. Like, not like some cool, like, popcorn, bitch, or corn on the cob. Something. But she burns down the cornfield, then comes back the next morning, and Eden's still alive. Holy shit. I guess the corn doesn't kill anybody after all, she says, and bah, last jump scare. Can't believe that's the final kill, no final girl, no sequel, and can't believe this was in theaters for a second. <laughs> it's straight up a sci-fi channel. But thanks for watching, and watch some more Kill Counts.